Hi, I'm Bob Shrupp, physical therapist. Brad Handy, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Right, Brad, we're going to talk about three abdominal exercises you should never do. Right. All right, these are bad on you. And, and the way to understand the first one, why we're not going to have you do it, is you need to understand this study by Nakamson very quickly. Nakamson, he took and measured the pressure on your discs in your back. Right. Sorry about that, Napoleon. Uh, he measured the pressure on your disc. So when you are normally standing, you just have 100% amount of stress or 100% amount of your weight, I guess, on the disc. Right. That, right. That's your benchmark. That's normal. Yeah, that's normal. When you curl up, that's 210%. So it's actually double the amount of stress on your, on your discs. Right. So we're talking the problems with strengthening your abdominal, the danger. We're talking about the back, hurting your back. Right. Hurting your back. Exactly. That's why... Well, you know, these are great abdominal workouts, but they're hard on your back. We don't want you to injure your back when you're doing the right. abdominal workout. So if you curl up, you have 210%. If you bring your legs up, you have 140%, which is acceptable, I think. I think that's, that's right. fine. Yeah. But if you do both, we don't know how much stress it is because Nockinson didn't check that. But I'm guessing it's way above 210. Right. I'm guessing it's probably 250, maybe 300. Right. And that is too much. And this, a lot of times they call it the banana. Banana position. Right. And I see that in the, the P90X workout. And yeah. I, I've tried this and it, it bothers my back. Yeah. I mean, I just stopped very and quickly. And it, it, believe me, it's a good abdominal workout, but you are risking hurting your back. Right. So let's, let me show you the banana position. But this is it. Why we don't want you doing it. That's why we don't want you doing it. This is what it looks like. You want to take this? Bread? Sure. And take this too, Brad. All right. So I've seen it done a lot of different ways. One, they'll be down like this, and they'll they'll be having you do this. Yeah. Again, you're rounding your back, and you're putting a tremendous amount of stress on the discs. Yeah. So we're talking right here, L4, L5, S1. The majority of back pain starts there, and this hits that spot. The other one I see a lot is they'll curl up like this, and now they'll start doing like stuff like this. Right. Again, great workout on the abdomen, very hard on the back. Yeah, very then, hard. then they'll put a plate of some weight there and then do the same thing. Well, that's the other one of the other exercises we want you to avoid, Brad, is, is actually doing curl ups like this with weight on it. Right. You'll see people hook their legs into, onto a slant board mm -hmm. and they'll add weight. Yeah, you want to add extra weight already when you're already putting too much stress on your back. Sure. So you want to avoid the weight. That's the second one. The third one, I don't know if people do this much anymore, but they used to stick their feet under something and, and support their legs or have someone supported. Just like that, yeah. And then they curl up. So one, it's bad for the full curl up here. But the second thing is, because you're supporting the legs and holding the legs, the leg muscles are actually doing some of the work. You're actually strengthening part of your legs. Sure. You know, some of the hip flexors. It's yeah. a little hard for people to understand that, but that's exactly what's happening. Right. So, Number one, avoid the banana position. Number two, avoid adding additional weight. Number three, avoid having anybody fix the legs while you're doing the right. abdominal workout. Right. Listen to us, because we tell you this now so you learn later. Right. Yeah. <laughs> We've learned the hard way. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot.